MTP device, a service installation section in this inf, is invalid. This error appears when you try to connect an MTP-enabled device to your Windows PC. MTP is a protocol which allows both the connected device and the PC simultaneously have access to the internal storage of the device. This was not always the case. If you remember, for example, old MP3 players or early smartphones, they used to connect to PC in USB mass storage mode, similar to USB thumbsticks. This mode gives the computer full access to the memory while the device stops seeing its own storage while connected to the computer. That meant you couldn't continue listening to the player while transferring new music to it. In some cases it actually shut down to allow this. Whilst a minor inconvenience for a portable music player, for something like smartphone not being able to access memory is a major problem rendering it unusable or very limited while connected to PC. So, hence the MTP protocol. This also means this error and the fix I'll show is mostly applicable to smartphones and tablets and maybe a few newer portable music players if anyone still uses those. There are also some USB cell modems and Wi-Fi cards with built-in storage and other niche devices that may use MTP and demonstrate this behavior, but those are exceptionally rare. That's why this video applies mostly to smartphones and tablets. If your device is of any other type, the following solution probably won't help you. Also, I assume you have already done those dumb copy-paste solutions parroted all over online. That means you have checked that the device port is free of gunk and debris, it is not broken, and the cable is also functional. The easiest way to test that is to try another cable or try connecting your device to another USB port or to another computer to see if the device and cable works. Another common so-called solution could be found on a few websites peddling dodgy driver packs and automatic driver update tools. That software is one of the worst things you can install on your PC. And even if it's bloatware and malware free, you have little control of what drivers it updates and which versions it installs. So better to avoid that. And of course you don't need to manually download and put files anywhere on your computer or install new drivers in most cases, as your Windows installation probably already has those. The solution I'll show should work on Windows XP, but that's probably too old. I personally tested this on all recent and not so recent versions of Windows, from Windows 7 all the way up to Windows 11, and it works on all of them, even though the built-in Windows troubleshooter is useless, as always. So basically, to fix this issue, you have to do one thing with only two slightly different variations. To understand which way you need to follow, disconnect the device, open device manager, and then connect the device to determine in which category it is added. You may need to disconnect and connect it several times if you have trouble finding it in the device manager. The first case is when your device is actually detected in the device manager. It may be under USB section or under portable device section and shown either as the device name, for example phone make and model, or simply MTP device. So all you need to do is to right click on it, select update driver, then browse my computer for files. In the next screen it is very important that the search for drivers in this location is the in folder in your Windows installation. If it's not the case, browse for this folder or simply manually type it in. When you do that, click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. In the next screen, in the model section, there will be several MTP USB devices. Try selecting and clicking next on any of this and see if it helps. If it doesn't, repeat the steps and select a different model in this list. The slightly different approach will be needed when the device appears in other devices section. It may be named MTP, MTP device or even unknown device. 
and usually it has an exclamation mark next to the icon. If you click on update driver or update driver software for that, a list of possible devices types opens. Here, in the majority of cases, you would need to select Android device as most probably you're connecting an old Android phone or tablet. After you select it, in the following steps, select same MTP device as I've shown in the previous example. Once again, you may need to go through each and every device in this compatible list to find the driver that works. Complete the steps as prompted, reconnect the USB cable to the device just in case, and your device should start working just fine. That means you will be able to open it in File Explorer, browse the files, copy them, delete them, and so on. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.